This is the Transformers Autobot Jizz. Please laugh. When this initially came out back in 2007, it was a Target exclusive, which means you can only buy it at Target. I don't know if I made that part clear. And this Target exclusive Autobot Hot Rod comes with Automorph technology, which was the gimmick at the time for this. I wish I could Automorph myself a girlfriend. I'm not really sure what I mean by that. If you flip it over to the backside, you'll see the backside of the packaging with all its backside of the packaging artwork and details and words and stats, which I don't think anyone cares about. But you can care for me by subscribing. Get them. And these are all the other figures that came out at the time. The only other ones I have are Barricade and Wreckage. But you should wreck that subscribe button. Get them again. Also, I think I have Scorponok too. And I noticed something interesting. According to this, Jazz was rebuilt after he was ripped in half. But I don't think that's canon to the movie. Because he's for sure dead and never shows up in any of the other movies because he got ripped in half. I don't think toys can dictate the canon for a movie, but you can dictate that subscribe account by subscribe. Now as a collector, we have to open the figure very carefully. I am not a patient man. Now here is Jazz in helicopter mode. It even has his name written on the side, just in case if you forget. That's, that's very kind of them. It rolls pretty well, like a car should. And I don't know if it's obvious, but the paint job is not silver, like in the movie. Its paint job actually comes from the Armada TV series. I've always wanted this version of Hot Rod when I was younger, but I'm a little disappointed. I really like the vehicle mode of this, but the robot mode, uh... We'll get to that. I'm a 26 year old man disappointed by a 15 year old toy. And I just found this out. That's the number four. It comes with a weapon that can be stored onto the spoiler in vehicle mode. Now let's get to transforming it. Luckily, the instructions are super simple for my caveman brain. Some parts are made to detach if excessive force is applied. Honestly, same here. First, you gotta bring down the legs, then twist around the feet, then bring the feet out, and then take out the heels, spread the hood open, and oh god, I think my fingerprints got on there. Split it apart like that. Flip the trunk side all the way to the top of the hood like this bring this little piece down flip out these sad excuse for hands fold the hood in half bring out the wheels turn them down snap the body in place then bring this part down and the head pops up that's the automorphing technology that's literally it and then if you move the back part where the spoiler is that can become the shield i don't think that counts as parts forming because it's not necessary comment below and tell me what you think and then you just put it in in the wheel. Then you can take his weapon and erect it. And then it goes right in this peg inside the arm. Here it is and uh, it doesn't look too great. Also, oh my God, it looks like it's ages showing because some parts are flaking off. Also, it's thick thighs are yellowing. You might be able to see the thumbprints I accidentally got on it. It's got an Autobot logo on its crotch of all places. There is light piping on the eyes. It's also very oily to hold kind of gross. Even though I bought this sealed, it's ages showing through. He looks pretty chonky and the design is kind of messy. The head sculpt is also not too great. It looks kind of like a bat. Man, it has very limited posability. The head can go 360. The arms will go at about that high. There is 360 rotation on the arms. The legs don't have much of a spread to them, and they only go out about that much with very limited knee bend. Also, this leg is really stiff for some reason, but this one is much looser. I guess this counts as hand movement, and then here's some elbow movement. And yeah, that's really all the posability it has. You can't really get this into very many poses. I don't really like these sad excuse of hands. I mean, honestly, the design of this robot mode is not my favorite, but it does have some nice detailing work, like with the pipes at the bottom. The silver paint looks really good on it, and uh, it's got blue on it. That's my favorite color. I don't know. I'm trying to find good things to say about this. It also has some bat cable, but I mean, like, what can you do? I was really excited when I got this, but honestly, not so much anymore. The car mode looks great, but the robot mode is... Uh... Also, I feel like the more I touch it, the more paint comes off, and I feel like my thumbprints are getting all over it, too. Someone in the future can clone me with my thumbprints on this. That's how it works, right? It's too oily to touch. It's almost like it's made of plastic or something. Also, I don't know if that scratch was there when I opened it up. Overall, it's an older figure, so it's not too great. There's a lot of new stuff that's come out that's much better. And if you want to support me and my channel so I can review more stuff, check out my Patreon. Link in the description below, and it's only $1 a month. 